Hi, I'm Nikki from Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and uh, welcome to today's uh, Advent Calendar from Gloucester Cathedral. So I'm the Engagement Manager for Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and we work with people all across the county to get people excited about wildlife and learning some of the things they can do in their own gardens and their own communities to help wildlife. So I'm going to talk to you today about hedgehogs and why we should still think about hedgehogs even in the winter time. Now a lot of people think that hedgehogs hibernate during the winter and they do if the weather's cold enough but in fact if we have very mild winters hedgehogs can wake up um, during the winter and they can go through a period of waking up and going to sleep if the weather's very changeable and we're seeing this more and more now uh, due to climate change and having much more mild winters so the worry for us is that when hedgehogs wake up during the winter they're looking for food and they and they might struggle to find them some food so if you can continue to put food out during the winter for your hedgehogs that'd be really good but we also need to think when they do hibernate where are they going to hibernate in our gardens and in our green spaces around our community are there is the right habitat available for them hedgehogs use different types of nests during different times of year and their hibernation nests can be a little bit di um, different to their summer nests so today we're just going to have a little bit of a look at how you can create a nice area for your hedgehogs in winter to to get them ready for nesting Okay, so when we're thinking of a good place in your garden uh, to make for hedgehogs to make a sort of winter nest, you need to think about the structure of their nest. So they really need something like spoiling bramble or some scrub, which helps hold their nest together, their hibernation structure uh, nest of their nest together. Um, but they also use leaves to make their hibernation nests and the leaf size actually really matters. So something like a hazel leaf or an oak size leaf is ideal and um, something like a hawthorn leaf is a bit too small or a, a sycamore leaf is a bit too big. So anything about this size is ideal. So rather than clearing them all away from your garden when they're sort of falling off the trees, perhaps clear them all into a nice pile for your hedgehogs and put them into a nice pile near your scrub area for your hedgehog to gather and make their nest and maybe add some twigs and branches in there too so they can drag those into their nest and make a nice cozy warm nest hibernation nest if they, we do get some really really cold winters that'll keep them really really cozy over the winter Okay, so please do get involved. Even if you've got a hedgehog box in your garden, please leave those leaves uh, available for hedgehogs to take into the hedgehog box. It'd be great if you can get involved and help hedgehogs all throughout the year, not just the winter as well, um, because hedgehogs are now threatened with extinction. Um, so they really do need our help to sort of make that varied habitat throughout the year. And let's send us your pictures and let us know how you're uh, helping wildlife and hedgehogs in your garden. We'd love to hear from you. Keep an eye on what we're doing at the Wildlife Trust. Uh, we have lots of events and activities happening all throughout the year, all around the county. And we work really closely with Gloucester Cathedral, trying to make Gloucester a more wildlife friendly city.